All right, tech fans, welcome back once again to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host, and today we're going to be showing you guys the unboxing and first look of a brand new motherboard from the people over at Gigabyte. This is their new Z77X-UP4TH, or as I like to refer to it, the UP4. This motherboard is one of their latest motherboards. It's made for all the K overclocking CPUs, features their supreme copper design, which we're actually showing now helps with humidity, so maybe that helps in countries of that kind of stuff. But that said, let's jump in and let's see what comes in this box sitting right behind me. All right, folks, so here we see the box, the Gigabyte Ultra Durable 5, Ultra Cool, Ultra Efficient, Ultra Performance. You guys can see it's designed for overclocking the Intel K SKU CPUs. It's won a bunch of awards already. Features Thunderbolt, hence the TH. It's got 3D power, which is all their stuff, their 3D BIOS. So basically when these guys say 3D power, you guys have heard of all the stuff out there. MSI uses their term, ASUS uses their term. Basically all this stuff is saying that they use really good parts and all their power phasing is all their 3D stuff, which is the newest. The 3D BIOS is their latest UEF BIOS. You guys should all know that by now. Obviously Z77 chipset, two times a copper PCB with a new glass fabric PCB with has humidity protection. Don't exactly know what that is. We'll probably get into that a little bit later. Let me flip it around real quick. You guys can take a look at this right here. So in case you're looking to buy this motherboard, you guys can see it here, or you can also look in the link in the description below if you're interested in buying this and availability. Flip it around, just show you guys the back. They're just basically talking about all their stuff that makes their motherboard good. They're ultra cool, ultra efficient, ultra performance. You can see they talk about their MOSFETs. They can talk about their power staging. They just talk about all kinds of stuff, about their UEF BIOS, the dual Thunderbolt on board, all digital power, just lots of stuff on the outside of their box, folks. I mean, this is pretty much the unboxing, but I know you guys get mad if we don't show you too much, so I'm still trying to give you guys some features. So let's pop open. We'll start off right off the bat by going over all the stuff that comes in the box. I'll start setting it down. Here's the motherboard manual. Here's a multilingual installation guide. Here is the drivers and utility CD. Here we have a set of SATA cables. These are the new SATA six gigabit per second cables. And set those down. We have an SLI, the SLI bridge right here, the cable. And then last but not least, we have the rear IO. It's all color coordinated, shows where everything's at. Now let's actually take a look at the motherboard itself. Okay, folks, so here's the motherboard. Inside the packaging, I open it. Mm, it has that really new motherboard smell, that electrically smelling smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will pull the motherboard out. Now I'll set the motherboard right here. We can start going over the motherboard. You guys can see there's plenty of room around the ZIF socket. At the top, right up here, we'll start with the single 8-pin power connector up here. Here's the ZIF socket, LGA1155. You can see that they use high-quality MOSFETs, high-quality capacitors, high-quality choke. That's one of the main features of the board. One thing I really like about the board is that the system fan and the CPU fan, you can see they're located both right here at the top right here. This is going to be very easy for mounting your fan on because you have two connections right there. I'm going to flip it to the side. Here's the memory. It takes dual channel DDR3. Here's a 24 pin power connector. You also have a secondary system fan here. Here's our USB 3.0. This is the breakout bracket for that. Right here in the center of the board, we have the M SATA connection. That's located right here. If I get that for the camera, so you guys can see this is M SATA right there. Okay, we'll flip the board back. Now, this board has a lot of PCIe 1X slots. We have one, two, three of these. And then we have one, two, three of the PCIe X slots. Now, this motherboard supports either dual SLI or dual crossfire, which means you can use two cards. It doesn't support triple, doesn't support quad, just supports those. Uh, you can still see that on the board, 
Still, there's still people calling it a ATI Crossfire X. I got to laugh at that. ATI has been a company now for like, what, five years, and it's still on the board. NVIDIA SLI. Now, I'll just skip around here. You guys can see they had to talk about the Thunderbolt. They talk a little bit about their sound. It has 108 dB. It's pretty decent sound. Features the Realtek chipset. But I'm going to bop back down over here to the side now. We're right here, all of our SATA connections. We have a single set of SATA 3 ports and then two sets of SATA 2 ports. So the white is the SATA 3, these are the SATA 2. We'll flip it down back here. This is where they have a weird thing for their clear CMOS. Their clear CMOS is a little tiny thing on the motherboard that you can barely even see. It's very, very small. You see it right there? It says clear CMOS. Now, I don't know if you touch it with a screwdriver or what you do, but it looks to me like you could just remove the battery, but that's kind of a pain in the butt way. So let's look down here. You can see you see your panel comms, all of your connections that go to your case, additional USB. So you have one, two, three additional USB ports down here. Another system fan. This is system fan three down here. Your TPM connector, an additional system fan, your audio and SBDIF connections. And then let's jump around and let's take a look at the rear I.O. Right off the bat, we can see that we have legacy PS2 and mouse port, so it'll use whatever you want. Start right here, we have two, four, six of the USB 3.0 ports, and you can see that all the ports in this board are all USB 3.0. I give that a thumbs up. Here we saw the HDMI, here's the DVI, the VGA, we have a single LAN port, then we have right here the two firewire connections here we have all of the analog and both the digital connections for your audio okay folks so thanks for watching the unboxing of the new gigabyte z77x-up4th featuring thunderbolt technology this was just the unboxing folks look for the full feature review and benchmarks when we get back to you later here on tech of tomorrow